What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Juniel Dorticos. Dorticos has scored a surprising 10-round knockout over Andrew Tabidi. Andrew Tabidi was an undefeated fighter with 17 wins, no losses with 13. By knockout, he was the projected winner. He was the guy that was looking, everyone was looking for. He's a part of Mayweather Promotions. Dorticos having the one loss. He lost it in the Super Series last year of the Cruiserweight Super Series. Of course, we know the winner of that Super Series was Alexander Usyk. Okay, and he has went to the cruiserweight division that's why we're having another uh super series um now um you know a lot of people overlook Dorticos because he lost and he didn't lose in the final preliminaries but he lost to the fighter that lost to uh Usyk okay and you know a guy that has 24 wins one loss with 22 by knockout coming from the Cuban school El Cubanos I don't see how everyone, anyone's really surprised. You know, people are surprised. I am not because, of course, I love my Cuban fighters. I love my Cuban heritage, sure. But one thing about it, these guys can fight. Okay, and if you overlook one, you can be just like Tabidi is now, defeated. Okay, so he takes an L. He, you know, the fight was kind of sloppy, honestly. I think that I feel that Dorticos has a beautiful jab. He should have used his jab more to establish the right hand, but I see why he didn't throw it. I think he had the, the Deontay Wilder syndrome like Deontay has, just looking for the right all the time, and he was looking to hurt this guy and because they landed it early and he hurt him. So I think that he was just looking for that one punch. Uh, asked uh, Sugar Shane Mosley about that when he hit Floyd. You know, he hit Floyd, knew I can hurt Floyd with this punch, but then yet he never landed that punch again because Mayweather adjusted and Mayweather's that good. However, um, Andrew Tabidi was not. Andrew Tabidi, um, he did, he was slick, he was crafty, and it was funny because he kind of put you in the mind of a Cuban fighter. You know what I mean? Because he was trying to stick and move to avoid Dorticos' power. So, you know, he could he could run, but he couldn't hide. It was a lot of slipping. They had that label, that placard on the ground that, you know, I think a lot of those logos, you know, I know we're trying to promote the fight. They have sponsors, but a lot of that shit just gets in the way and in the progress of a really good fight. You know what I'm saying? I think that they should get better material, you know, to promote or to use those particular, um, uh, <clears throat> use those that that particular platform and for the from it being sticky or slippery okay either one is, sh is shitty you know you don't want to trip on something you know and at the same time you could be taking a punch and that could cost you a knockdown you know or something like that but anyway uh Dorticos is a guy that I actually thought it, it was between it was going to be between him or Usyk that won and Usyk won you know you could just see Usyk look like a killer you know what I mean I'm just really interested to see what he's going to do in the heavyweight division. But Dorticos, being 33 years of age, this is uh, this is a very good, positive step forward for him in his career. He was really emotional after the knockout, and it was a massive knockout, people. He was out cold. Probably the knockout of the year. I don't know. Deontay Wilder <laughs> really put Dominic Brazil on his ass. So I don't know. It's a toss-up because uh, Deontay Wilder can hit, man. But anyway, if if not, this is the close second to it, and it was a it was a very impressive knockout. You know, sky's the limit for Dorticos, and I look forward to him in the final um, stage of the uh, the World uh, Boxing Super Series. So, anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Juniel Dorticos knocking out Andrew uh, Tabidi in ten rounds. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.